Good morning, everybody. So this is my second video, and yeah, my first video, uh, yeah, I was really pretty much nervous and scared, but a little bit of excitement, but more nervous. And I can now we're shooting second video, and hopefully. Which I will shoot a third video, fourth video, fifth video. I am hoping by my tenth video, my videos will be like, okay, yeah, I think we somewhere stumbling, trying to figure our way. But yeah, I'm hoping they can get, I am praying that I don't give up <clears throat> making these videos. I want to create like a journey, um, yeah, where I can just take videos talk about my journey my fitness journey most importantly life how along the way you you fall you pick yourself up because it's not an easy journey honestly it's not easy it really is not <clears throat> so yeah i hope to enjoy the ride um so today today it is detox day i've been having terrible terrible cravings for the past six months yeah actually seven or yes since christmas at first i thought hey it's christmas you know you can eat whatever you want but now it never stopped honestly since christmas it never stopped i've been craving all sorts of things and every time if i crave something i'll have it i'll have it and i'll have it so yeah i just don't want it to continue getting out of control <clears throat> so um let's continue with the challenge yes so today i want to detox i want to detox i decided let's detox today so after this detox, um, I've got two, actually, two products. I hope it shows. I hope so. I hope it shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we see it? Can we see it? I hope we do. So the first one, okay, this brand, the brand, they're from Body Care. Okay, it's a Body Care brand. And this is the Detox, Detox, it says Detox Fiber Powder. Detox fiber powder it's actually quite good i've used it before i've used it last year i think i used it twice yeah so i liked it when i use it um i remember this girl i at the gym she recommended it for me yeah so it says here um Assist in the prevention, assist in the prevention and treatment of constipation. So, and colonic cleansing formula. I've realized that I have been bloated. Okay. Um, I remember two weeks back, I posted on my Instagram. I just posted a, a, a pic of my tummy. I didn't say I was pregnant. I just posted a pic of me constipated with a huge tummy. Let me not say huge. Yeah, I was like, yo, constipation pregnancy. Let's call it that. And everybody was just like, you pregnant, you pregnant. It's like... I love social media, I love Instagram, <clears throat> but sometimes what I hate about social media is people judge your life according to what you post, and I find it so unfair, I mean, it's really, it's just a picture, okay, it's just a picture that takes 10 seconds to take a picture. Honestly, 10 seconds cannot define my 24 hours. It cannot define my life, okay? So everybody, you post a picture. I posted a picture like this. I'm standing like this. I'm bloated, okay? And I remember that day. It was at the end of the day. I was in the gym. I'm working out. And so from a day of eating, a lot of eating, okay? And then I go to the gym before I started working out. My tummy was like, obviously, a little bit bigger because I've been eating the whole day. So I'm posting like this. 
And everybody was just like, you pregnant, you pregnant. And the way people come across, I don't know if they know it or if they don't. It kind of feels offensive. Like, don't just say, you pregnant, you pregnant. Somebody even say, you pregnant again. Like, God, what do you mean again? Like... I only have two kids and what's wrong with having two kids and what's wrong with having a third one i'm like i'm married i'm allowed to have these kids if i want to and after all it's my body so if i want to get pregnant 100 times i will get pregnant 100 times and besides being pregnant i mean what is wrong with having a big tummy hmm? like but you know what that's not what i want to talk about today okay it's just because if i keep talking about this it will just frustrate me i just yeah, I just, sometimes I just hate people who judge your life. Hate is a strong word. I dislike people who judge your life according to what you post. And, you know, you will find people that you, who you haven't even spoken in to in, like, months or for a very long time. People that don't even give a... Don't even care about you. They'll be like, oh, you're pregnant. They'll be sliding in your DM. If they have your number, they'll be WhatsApping you. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. And the worst I got was even somebody that I haven't seen in a very long time. Somebody who doesn't even check up on me or anything. Or uh, a distant friend. I don't know. I can't even say a distant friend. I can't even use the friend when I'm describing the, the word friend when I'm describing that person. It's like, can we hook up for drinks? <sighs> really? Hook up for drinks? All of a sudden. Just for them to confirm she is really pregnant. I don't know okay but you know what let's not rant about that so detox back to detox i'm going to use this the fiber and i'm going to use also this you know as a woman your body changes your body changes and fast forward i had my first baby after my first baby my body went back into shape i didn't have problems gaining weight my body went back into shape but my boobs were now sagging which I didn't really have a problem with my with sagging boobs honestly even up to now I don't have a problem I walk I only wear a bra when I have to go out but if I'm in the house I'm braless I, I, I bra is it makes me very uncomfortable so after my second first baby my body went back into no yeah it snatched back quickly then I had a sec my second baby. Oh, my second baby, the struggle was real. It was real, okay? After my second baby, I picked up a hell lot of weight. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I didn't feel good about myself. I hated myself. I didn't hate myself, but I just didn't, especially when it's time to take a bath, take a shower. I used to dread, I used to dread that time. I would finish taking a bath and I'm sitting on the bed of, and my husband would be like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't have anything to wear. And yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a good moment. And I didn't feel, but I, I continued like, then I continued with my unhealthy lifestyle. I would eat whatever. And every second week, I swear, I would have different sizes. Different sizes. Clothes were getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I'd go to the shop, buy, 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 buy. And I didn't enjoy this keep buying new clothes because these clothes would not even sit well. I'll just buy because I can't walk naked. And... So one day I said, I said to my husband, I really don't feel good about myself. I had come back from shopping. I remember it was my husband's birthday and I had planned a picnic for us. So I went shopping for something nice, sexy to wear and everything just did not fit. I ended up, I, I was fitting in size 44. That's when I was like, what? I didn't know I was 34. I, I thought I was 32. When did I become size 30, 44? Okay, then I re I went back home. I wasn't happy. I spoke to my husband about it. He says, why don't you just 
lose weight. But I'm like, lose weight? How? I mean, like us, where I come from in Zimbabwe back then, like people never really had problem with gaining weight. Actually, if you're gaining weight, it says you are living well. And yeah, you moved to South Africa. Honestly, since January, I can't say now I'm totally comfortable with my body. I'm not yet. I'm, I'm a working progress. I'm getting there. But it, for the past seven months since I've picked up weight now, I lost weight. Okay. Last year, I lost weight. And then now for the past seven months, I have picked up that weight again. And honestly, I'm not depressed. I'm not mad about it. I'm okay. And even if somebody says, oh, you, 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 if you can do it, I'm like, yes, I did. So, uh, so I'm not mad about it. I'm learning. Yes, there are things that I would like, I would want to work on. Like, um, I want to work on my tummy. I want my tummy to be a little bit more flatter. Uh, no, I don't want to have abs of a steel. <laughs> But I'm not mad about my body. I'm learning to appreciate my body. I'm learning to love myself the way I look. Um, I look at myself in the mirror now and I'm not depressed. I'm happy. I am look at myself in the mirror and I'm not under pressure for a certain body type that I want. No, I look at myself. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. And it's a work in progress. Honestly, if there is anybody who probably goes who is going through what I went through or someone can relate to what I'm saying. And you probably in a point where you don't understand yourself or you judge yourself too much or you put yourself under too much pressure, especially women. When we have children, our bodies change. I just want to tell somebody that, you know what? You are beautiful the way that you are. Okay, you might have sagging boobs like me. My boobs sag, okay? They get up to here, they sag. But you're beautiful, you know, we 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 all different, we're not the same, okay? We can't all have the same body type. And you know, um some of these Instagram people that we compare ourselves with these Insta models and these people that will say, I've got my program, what, what, they are selling a business. They are at work, okay? We, I, I realize that I need to understand that these people, they are working, okay? It's their job. I am not working. I'm not an instant model. So I cannot compare with somebody who is at work because it's, it's his or her life. It's her rent. It's her bread and butter. She needs to portray that lifestyle. She, she's selling Okay, she's making a living. She's working out of it. I've got a different type of job. I just want to be healthy. That's all I want. So I stopped putting my pressure in with those girls. I stopped comparing myself with those girls. Because I remember there was a time I was even considering liposuction. And all just because I was under pressure. And I was... I Now, thank God, I'm, I'm really comfortable with myself. I'm really comfortable with how my body is and I have a body where I could broad shoulders here and then I've got a flat S so when I gain weight I don't it doesn't sit on my S it sits on my broad shoulders my shoulders get bigger and my neck got gets big and my boobs get big and my tummy gets big but down here I'll be flat and I've learned to love myself like that okay we can't all be the same we can't all be skinny we can't all have big buns we can't all have big boobs we can't all have abs of a steel and I am learning every day to love myself the way I am I look at myself in naked like every time I finish taking a bath or before I take my ba a bath, I look at myself naked and I'm like, oh, yeah, I love, I love my bum, you know. I could be. That's why I was confident enough to post that picture on Instagram doing this to my tummy. Like, I'm confident. I love my tummy the way it is. Yes, I look like I'm four or five months pregnant, but I love myself the way I am. I love my tummy the way that it is. I, yes, I'm working on it. I don't want it to stay like this. But even if it is like this, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to depress myself because I've got a big tummy. No, I, I'm, I'm going to embrace it. If I have to post it, I'm going to post it. I'm not going to pretend and make funny moves and suck it in and breathe in or whatever for people on social media to say oh i've got a flat tummy no if it's my tummy is big it's big okay let's just get it real it is big 
Okay, so um, yeah, le, I'm a work in progress, and I hope out there there's somebody who is like me. I hope out there, if I can help only one one person to understand that you are beautiful whichever way you are yes you've had kids and your body is not the same as you are we you can't as human we can't be in one place forever okay you can you can't expect your body to be the same as you were when before you had a child or when you're a teenager you can't you can't like i find myself that there was a time i was actually that is also another problem i was in my 20s late 20s Late 20s, 28, 29. Oh, no, actually, yeah. Late 20s, 29 and 30. I used to compare. I desperately wanted that body that I had uh, before I had my child or when I had my first baby. But then I had my first baby when I was like 23. So why would I? I am twin, I'm 29. I'm 13. I was 30 then. Why would I want to have a body of an 18-year-old? Like, No. Do I behave like I'm an 18-year-old now? No, I don't. I've grown. I'm a mature woman now. So why do I want an 18-year-old body? That was then. That body was then. This is now. So I'm learning to embrace this body. I'm learning to embrace this 32-year-old body. I can't wait to have the 40-year-old body. I can't wait to have wrinkles. I will embrace my wrinkles. Um, and just loving myself the way that I am these videos i like it i think they're too long i need to find a way how to make them shorter because i'm still very new at this video thing so i'm trying to understand it and figure it out and if it's not perfect please don't judge it i'm just new to this whole video making thing so yeah love and peace